Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will demonstrate how to create portlets in Clarity PPM. Portlets are snapshots of data that can appear as charts, grids, or HTML content on a page. They are similar to reports, however, the information displayed can also be updated in the resulting output. We'll focus on how to create a grid portlet for this video. First, let's look at a couple of portlets that are already built out and define some of the key components. This is my PM Alerts dashboard. The dashboard is comprised of four primary portlets. There are both chart and grid portlets on this page. The Milestones portlet is a grid portlet. Grid portlets have two primary components, the filter and the list views. The filter is an area where we can define specific parameters to produce the output we are looking for. In this case, we can search by OBS, which can be department or location, project manager, project, and milestone. The list view populates a grid of information based on each portlet's design. This list shows key details of project milestones. Now let's look at how we can create a grid portlet. To navigate to the portlet list, use the admin menu and click portlets. This is a list of all portlets in my Clarity system. I can search for portlets using the filter. To create a new portlet, click the new button. This displays a selection list where I can choose the type of portlet I want to create. For this example, I'll choose grid. Here I can fill out the summary information of name. I'll call this one new portlet. I'll put in a unique ID. I can choose a content source from the drop-down list. I have optional fields of category and description. I also need to choose an instance type and select a data provider. The data provider identifies the source of information to populate the portlet with. This can come from an out-of-the-box or a custom object, as well as an NSQL-based query. I can use the filter in the pop-up to search for a specific data provider. For this portlet, I'll use the risk object. Then I'll click Next. This presents me with a few options. I'll select Finish and Open to configure the portlet for viewing. I'll configure the List Column section first, so I'll hover over the List Column section tab and select Layout. This allows me to see all available fields I can use as columns in my list view. It also shows the fields my view is currently showing. I can move fields from the available list to the selected list by selecting them and clicking the move arrow. I'll add a few fields over to my selected list. I can also update the order of the fields in the list. As the list goes from top to bottom, so the columns in the portlet will go from left to right. I can also choose which column I'd like to sort on. For instance, I can choose project name to sort the output in the portlet by project name in alphabetical order. I can also configure how the resulting data is displayed by selecting fields from the list columns section dropdown. After the video is over, check this area out and see how different types of fields can be configured. Before navigating away from this page, click Save. Now let's configure the filter view. I'll hover over the List Filter section tab and select Layout. Similar to the List column view, I have the available fields on the left. However, I have two columns for the selected fields, one for the left side and one for the right side of the filter. Currently they are blank. I can move fields over to the selected view just as I did for the list column view. I'll move some fields over for the right and left sides. These are the fields that I want to use as parameters. For example, if I want to search for risks based on priority, I can move the priority field over to the selected view. I can also change the display name of the portlet, choose whether or not users can see the filter upon opening the page, and I can also allow users to create their own power filter. I can also specify which users in Clarity are able to access this portlet. When I'm done, I'll click Save. I've added the portlet to my home page to view the results. 
The filter and list column views reflect what we created. End users also have the ability to configure the portlet to their own liking by clicking the options wheel and selecting configure. This view looks just like the portlet configuration view on the admin side. In this video, we have shown how to create a portlet in Clarity PPM. We focused on how portlets relate to a content source. We also looked at how to configure the list column and filter views. You can find more videos demonstrating how to perform other functionalities of Clarity PPM on our website.